So here we are with Willow. We are on episode 19 of Crybaby Wimps. Uh, Ashton is here as well. All the kids are at school. So I did play a couple of days uh, with this family. And they are on Willow's final day of her second semester. And with the mod I use, this will be her final semester of university. So as we know, uh, she is on academic probation at the moment. Um, but you'll see here that we should be in a very good position to do well this semester. So we've done all our homework. I'm pretty sure we did homework for every single class. We did our term presentation. We submitted a term paper. We only have one exam today at 3 p.m. She's actually studying right now for that exam. I just heard a bang. <laughs> There's our willow. Uh, you don't have any babies. We have babies on um, on our other family that we've been playing. So the last few weeks, we've taken a break from Cry Baby Whims and we've been playing Whimsy Stories. And that's where we've been playing with the new pack. Um, we have two babies now. So we have an infant, a little girl, and then we just gave birth to a second infant. And uh, yeah, so but in this family, no, we don't have this is our first time going back to our Crybaby Whim series since uh, the last patch with the infant update came out. Uh, I didn't do a synopsis because I couldn't remember what happened last. I think last time. So we got on academic probation. Now the edited VODs. So, Jude, I believe you're watching the edited VODs of this. I have finished editing them. Love Day school party all week at school. Kids have been asking their sweethearts for the annual Love Day school party. There will be cookies and punch and music, exchanging of flowers and cards, and of course, awkward chaperones. Courtney had yet to be asked, so she has two options. Go alone or invite someone special. Uh, why don't we invite someone? Oh, I guess it didn't work. It took courage. That's what Courtney had to keep telling herself. The moment she asked what special sim to the love day party was the exact moment she got shot down. The response no had been instantaneous, followed by a cruel snicker of her classmates. Courtney spent the party hiding in the bathroom in Barris with a llama cookie, which was delicious. Uh, during art, Cadence's class was introduced to create flower themed cards for each other. After gathering glitter, colored pencils, construction paper, petals and fuzzy pipelines, Cadence sat down, her creative juices flowing. The cards would be shared and opened with the rest of the class during the party later. So this had to be good. Two themes came to mind. Create hilarious or create heartfelt. I think she would probably do hilarious. Uh, you watch when you can. You haven't been well. I'm so sorry, Jude. I really hope you're taking care. Um, we're still catching up on some of the edited parts, but the edited parts are all scheduled at this point in time. So they're coming out on Tuesdays and Saturdays right now until everything is caught up. So this part should come out Saturday of next week and then we'll be all caught up by the week after that. Oh, my gosh. We have so many kids in school right now. So because we have five kids in school, we're going to get these pop ups probably for the first like five minutes, especially because it's love day today. Tissue paper flowers in celebration of love day. Blossom's class made tissue paper flowers. The teacher. Oh, that's so cute. Of course, Blossom would make tissue paper flowers. Teacher asked all the students to give their flowers away to someone special. Now Blossom just needs to think of the right person. Give flowers to Brighton Day. Blossom would probably do that. I don't think she would keep the flowers for herself. Oh my gosh, all of my decisions are not. I'm seeing little heartbreaks, everyone. And little heartbreaks for everyone. And now we've got Mabel. Maybe Mabel, I don't know. Mabel could go alone to a dance. I think she'd be pretty confident in doing that. At the same time, Mabel is the one that does want to get together with someone special as part of her New Year's resolution. So why don't we try inviting someone? Nope. Nope. I did a bad decision again. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. This is probably the last one. Rhiannon. When the teacher asked for volunteers to help set up for the Love Day dance, Rhiannon was quick to raise her hand. Not only would she get out of class for a few hours, but she'd be given a unique opportunity Rhiannon, I feel like, would definitely decorate for the best dance ever. 
And of course that didn't work either. Rhiannon went in with hopes ablaze. She planned to make the best love day dance ever. That was before she saw what she had to work with. Crumpled decorations, no snacks, polka music. To make matters worse, nobody else had volunteered. When the dance started, everyone blamed Rhiannon for the horrible time they had. Um, and then for Blossom, Blossom passed by our teacher, a sad little girl and the school bully. Nothing felt good enough until she spotted an old man alone in the park. She reached into her backpack only to find the bouquet of tissue paper flowers had been utterly demolished by her homework while walking. There's probably a lesson to be learned here. Oh man. So everyone's having a horrible love day. Nobody had a good love day so far. What generation on your on? We're still on generation one. But we're very close to being done. So Willow, the only thing we have left to do for her is to complete her aspiration. The final step is to have a child or grandchild reach the top of a career. We are focusing on Ashton for that. Ashton is currently in university, but I think as the eldest and also as I believe the child who will stick closest to Willow um, I believe all the other kids will be out of here as soon as they age into adults. But Ashton so far is staying with his mom. And I think he really feels like he needs to help her out. He will be the most likely Sim to achieve the top of whatever career we choose for him once he completes university. And then that should finish. That should end Willow's Gen. And we will officially move on to Blossom, who is our Gen 2 heir. So Blossom is currently a child. She just aged up not that long ago. Um, I believe in me from confidence gain. The most important person believes in Blossom is herself. Now, there are new aspirations for kids, and I thought it would be fun if we gave Blossom one of them as part of the new pack. Um, I didn't give her one yet because I wanted us to do it together. But... Uh, I thought that would be something fun that we could do. It will be kind of cool because we don't have any kids in our other family. So we can definitely use Blossom to learn more about the Generations pack um, in this Let's Play. I'm going to have a house full of sad kids. I don't love Love Day. <laughs> no, that was uh, unfortunate. Actually, pretty much I'm glad I added Watch Romance TV to the Love Day list of things because I don't think any of our Sims are going to go on any kind of a date, if I'm being honest. Oh, she's doing a little bit of cleaning. That's good. So, but yeah, she's pretty much all set to end her semester, hopefully on a good note. Oh, she's got perfectionist zeal from cleaning or vacuuming on a floor already clean. <laughs> um, whoa, what is this? Is, what, is Andy here? Oh my gosh, Andy, what you doing here? You're not supposed to be just dropping by. No. <laughs> oh, Ashton had a good class. Um, Ashton should also be, I think, in a good position to finish his semester. So he's got two uh, exams, but his semester is on slightly different days of the week. So I believe his semester will end on like Wednesday, I think. Tuesday or Wednesday is his last day of classes. So but he already finished his presentation and he has two exams that he will have to take. So he should also be able to do well. Ashton's coming to talk to Andy. <laughs> Squeezing through the door here. Thanks for letting me invite myself in. I'm so glad you're home. Want to hang out? Even if you don't, I'll stay here for a bit. Thanks. You're the best. Oh my goodness, Andy. I don't know what he's doing here. We're just going to ignore that. I will have... Um, he wants to dance. <laughs> what is... All right, well, we'll let Andy stay for now. I'm going to have Ashton do this uh, homework, even though he has all weekend to do it. I just want to get it done because I think there's a good chance I will forget. Um, yeah, so basically we're going to hang out, wait for Willow to finish. Oh, he should go to his class. Sorry, I didn't realize you had class, Ashton. Um, we're going to wait for... Willow to finish, and then we should be able to get her a job um, in her career of choice, which is a part of her gen. So she has to go into the political career. And um, we don't have to max it, but I want us to try with her regardless. I, I kind of feel like that is the direction that we are taking Willow's story in. And for her, it makes sense. I'm going to have her get dressed, especially since she has company over. I feel like she'd want to wear some clothes. Here we go. 
He came to see his nieces and nephews. Yeah. And his daughter. I mean, his niece. I mean, his daughter. I mean, his niece. <laughs> um, oh, Cadence has a friend who said, I think she must have helped them out with a relationship because he says, we're working on a relationship. So thanks for helping us through it. Now, a couple of things did happen in the two days that I played through. So one thing is Timothy texted Ashton and asked if he could come stay with us because he was going through a hard time. I said no, because I really don't think Timothy, I think Timothy has too much pride and he wouldn't want to come stay with Willow. So that felt a little out of character for him. So I did say no to that. And then the other thing is Courtney. Uh, was it Courtney? Uh, no, maybe it was Cadence. Uh, who was it? One of my Sims got asked to prom. I think I'll recognize the Sim when I see them. Oh, was it Tane? Oh, it was Imran. Imran asked, uh, Imran asked Courtney to prom. So I think he just asked her as friends, but they have a pretty good friendship. So sorry, I have to turn the music down for me. It's making it hard for me to focus because it's so loud. How is it for all of you? How is the music? I hope it's not too loud. Oh, no, no, no. You need to go to university class. It's your exam. You can't not go, Willow. <laughs> I don't know. She's always trying to skip her exams. Okay, hang on. Oh, I can't move all this stuff. There we go. Turn that up. Where's the music? All right, turning it down for me. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's better. <laughs> it was so loud for me. I didn't really realize at first. Okay, so all the kids are home, probably in horrible moods because they had a bad day at school. Now I've taken my alpha hairs out of the game, which means that when I came in, Rhiannon was bald. So I've given her a new hair and I didn't like any of the shades of red that this hair came in. So I ended up, I tried so many different hairs on her. I felt like this one suited her best and I gave her like a strawberry blonde color. I felt like this suited her the most. I feel like I'm old enough that I should be allowed. She's asking her brother. I think he would just say not until you've grown more. Not the most sensitive uh, response, but they are siblings. So I don't think he would say you'll always be my baby to his little sister. Ashton has reached level two of dancing. Okay, let's see here. Ashton can now, oh no, level two dancing, wellness. So Rhiannon should start thinking about further education. Take a look at her options by researching universities below or on a computer. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. It's fine. Don't overreact. Wow, having this many kids is really annoying with the pop-up. I will say that. Everyone needs to, Ashton, I locked Ashton's room. Maybe I'll send Ashton to his room to go do stuff on his own so that his siblings stop like bothering him and we stop getting pop up. Uh, ew, why are there these dirty plates in here? Um, he actually does need to work on his video game skill. It's disconnected. I have a television right here. Oh, here we go. Play multiplayer game. Um. Play online game, play My Sims Racing online. He can play with his dad. That could be a cool way that they could hang out, playing video games together. Music is good. I can barely hear it, but that's usual. Oh, she's going through something. Yeah, she was not in the best mood there, was she? Let me get rid of these. Put this here. I didn't realize people were hiding their plates up there. Okay, put that in there. Uh, okay. Why is he? I thought we were going to play video games, Ashton. Did I tell him to nap? <laughs> I'm so confused what happened there, why he went to sleep. That was weird. Um, so yeah, for Ashton, he is on the esports team. And for his next promotion, he needs to get up to video game level six. So I'll let him work on that a little bit. It's actually important. 
Um, it looks like Willow had a good exam. So that's good. She's on her way up to chat with Blossom. And what did I see here? Courtney swiped more dirty dishes while she was at school. Cool. Rhiannon's results for exams above average. Way to go, Rhiannon. Rhiannon is on her way to better grades. Keep it up. Kane's result above average. Oh, that's impressive. Prom is coming up. The dance takes place on Saturday evening at Copperdale High School Auditorium. Dinner will be served at the venue and the students are excited about the big night. Here are some ways to prepare. Um, Courtney did ace the exam. Amazing. Courtney aced the test. She was on her way to becoming valedictorian. Wow. Mabel aced it. Mabel is on her way to become being valedictorian as well. Nice. So the kids actually are doing quite well academically at school, which is surprising because half of them never do their homework. Um, but let's take a quick look at our calendar. So it's love day today. Um, tomorrow it's the spring festival, but it's also prom. And then Rhiannon is aging up next week. And then the twins age up the week after that. So I think we're going to take all the kids, all the older kids to prom. We won't take Mabel. I think Mabel's birthday might be. Oh, that's Ashton's birthday. Where's Mabel's birthday? Okay, so her birthday is the same week as the twins. But I think what we'll do is we'll take Rhiannon and the twins to prom this weekend. And then we'll take Mabel to prom next weekend. I think that will kind of make sense for their ages. So um, it will be their prom. So why don't we jump into cast really quick? And let's take a quick look. I believe I gave them all prom look. But we can also um, take a look at Blossom's aspiration. Mowgli, you're so cute. Okay, so let's do the aspiration first. So Blossom right now is the motor aspiration. We do know that she's focusing on her mental skill as well as her motor skill. So if we take a look at the multi-skill, I believe that these aspirations focus on two skills each. So we have mind and body. The Sim wants to master both their mind and their body. We have slumber party animals. So the Sim wants to be the life of the party in a uniquely creative way. So I'm guessing that's social and creative. Playtime cabin. These Sims love to seek out active play with friends. So social and active would be motor would be that one. And creative genius. The Sim wants to build their creative and mental skills to inspire innovation in play. I almost actually kind of see her as a creative genius, though. Maybe we should do this one. I have a little plan in mind for that, so I'm not going to say it just yet. But I think that we should do the creative genius for Blossom. I think it will be really fun. I don't think she would do any of the social ones. Um, but I think that that one could be nice for her. And then let's take a look at um, our kids and see what their prom looks are. So I think I had some contacts. I've been trying to put contacts on my Sims because I don't have any default eye replacements right now. Um, the update did break those. So I think she should have these on. <laughs> I think we're doing this. There we go. That looks much better. Yeah. Okay. So for Rhiannon, we've got this sort of like blue, very elegant dress. I think that this will be nice. Blossom is pretty. She is really pretty, isn't she? She's so adorable. I think she's so cute. I kind of wonder if any of the kids have caught on with her black hair that she doesn't necessarily share all the same genetics as them. It's going to be really interesting to see as she grows up who she takes more after. If she takes more after Andy or if she takes more after Willow. But yeah, I really like her. I think she's really cute. Uh, Mabel, we're not going to worry about right now. We won't take her to prom, but we will take the twins. So for the twins, let's see. What do we have here? Okay, so this is Courtney's look. I feel like this is fitting for her. She's got like really intense makeup on though. Does the makeup make sense? There we 
there. Let's do something like that maybe for her eyes. I really like her necklace. Um, should we do this dress or should we change it? Because uh, I feel like I might change it. Oh, we had this on her before. No, these are too old. Where's like, I'm sure I've got stuff that would be good for prom in here somewhere. Uh, that's a little bit too old for her too, I think. Uh, whoa, do you think, is this too dressy for prom? Maybe. I don't know. How dressed up do people get for prom where you live? I really like her in blue. What about something like this? Do we like this? Maybe a different color, not the blue? Where you live very dressy? What color do you see, Jude? Okay, so this wouldn't be considered too much. I feel like for my prom, I wasn't that dressy. People go all out for prom. Oh, you meant not black. Okay, I see, I see. I really like the blue color on her. I think it looks really nice, especially with her hair. Um, I don't know if I really see her in red, just like her personality, you know? Whoa. <laughs> you like the blue too? Blue is pretty. What do we think? Should we do something this fancy? Is this too fancy? Whoa. Okay, what do we think? Do we think something more fitted or like the mermaid or more princess like this? Is this princess? I think it's like princess cut is what this is called. Ball gown. We go very ball gown. You like the first blue, like the very, very first, like when we first, when we first came in. Like the, uh, one of these ones, like this one. More fitted for her. This one. Or the one that like, like way before this one. Okay. I like this one too, actually. I think it's very elegant. And I do think that she would be, you like the ball gown too? <laughs> she looks good in all of them. She does. I'm just going to put one more ball gown on. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we'll do this one. <laughs> Man, I need. Whoa. Oh my gosh, there's so many pretty ones. Okay, sorry. Okay, let's go back. It's this one we're doing. I like this one. I think it's very elegant. And I do think she would wear elegant. And then for her sister. Uh. 
Yes, I gave her like a really young look, I remember. I feel like she would definitely be dressed up like really, really fun. I might change the color of her eyeliner. <laughs> Poofy. <laughs> Yeah, so we know that Cadence really likes like bright colors. Oh my gosh, we could do an orange dress. Um, I really liked this dress. I felt like it really suited her, but I don't know if I'm super keen on the color. Like it's not a bad color, but I don't know if I love it for her. Uh, I don't know if she would wear anything like this. You know what I mean? Like her style is very different from her sister's. It's like much more casual and she loves bright colors. Maybe she wouldn't even wear a dress. Maybe she'd wear like pants. Or maybe she'd wear something more simple like this, but like in a bright color. Um, I like the green. Um, well, it was this one we were looking at. Like this color green. Hades called want their shoulder pads back. <laughs> um, the pants suit. Oh, okay. I actually really like the pants suit on her. This one? Yeah, this actually looks really good. What do we think? Do you think she would do something like this? I kind of like this haircut. I think it's cute. Yeah. I kind of feel like we should change all her hairs to that haircut. Fun. You think it's fun? Okay. Wait, where, where is that one? Oh, it's down at the bottom. Okay. I think I'm going to do this haircut for her. Because I could see. Oh, no, it doesn't have bangs. Never mind. It doesn't have bangs. Um. I got a lot of hair. <laughs> Is it this one? No, that's not the one. Um, oh, here it is. Where's the one with bangs? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm going to give her this hair. I think it's really fun. Um, she does have eyes on here. So which one is she wearing? Go Paul's me. Okay. Uh, 
I think it's these ones. There we go. So pretty. She's really pretty, isn't she? All these Sims are like really gorgeous. I kind of feel like I'm going to tone down her makeup a little because she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. So I don't know. I was probably like playing around. Um, just to see kind of like what I had. <gasps> these eyelids look so good on her. I should put these on her full time. Okay, but let's do some makeup for now. I can do that stuff later. I know a lot of people put like eyelids on in here and I don't tend to. But I think I need to start doing it because it can really change um, the face of your Sim. OK, so we'll just do like like maybe something like this. I could see her almost doing like a brown liner instead of a black liner. Just something very light. No, that's too thick. Um, they are like very subtle, almost like you can't even see it. And then She just has a lot of natural blush. Maybe I should put bronzer on her instead. There, just a light bronzer. And then for her lips. All of these make their lips like way bigger. Maybe this one. There, something like that looks really nice, I think. Yeah, I think I much prefer her with a little bit less makeup on, actually. I think that looks much more suited to her. And then maybe some smaller earrings. There we go. What shoes? I'll give her these shoes. Better for dancing, you know? I know you can't see them, but I think of these things. <laughs> and I. I want to take a look at her nails. I think we'll do like a, should we do a fun nail? Ooh, maybe some black nails. Yeah, she looks much better. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at her makeup, too, because I had a lot of fun redoing her her makeup. Um, do something like that. Um, sure. That's Fine. Her lip. She's definitely got Timothy's lips. These have glitter on them. Maybe she'd do like a brown lip with glitter. Oh, I can't turn down the opacity. I could see her doing like more of a brown like lip color though. Um. Turn it down, something like that. And and then, okay, I do have these eyelash accessories, but I don't think I can do them 
on with her eyelashes. If I can find them. I feel like I found them the like not that long ago. Is it in hats? Um Let's see here. Maybe there's something that we can add into her hair just to make it a little bit more fun. Um, I don't think she'd wear like a headband or anything. <laughs> a little bow. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. Maybe that's my sign that I need to stop. I think that they all look good. I think that we're probably done. Let me take one last look at Rhiannon. I think she has very subtle makeup, so I'll probably leave it. Does it feel like her mouth is maybe a little too wide? I think I'm just going to pull her mouth in a little bit. Oh, that's not working. Um, how do I pull? Pull. Uh oh. That's her whole mouth. I just wanted to bring the corners of her mouth in. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. We're done. We're done. Everyone looks good. They all have very different looks. Yeah, they do. They do. They've got very different personalities. So I feel like they suit them. So we should be getting Willow's final grade shortly. All the kids, this would be sort of their night before prom. So I would assume that they would maybe be getting like very excited, very hyped, maybe texting some of their friends, making plans. Um, and I just remembered. So I did have um, a high school originally downloaded. But when we redid the save file. Here we go. Final grades. She graduated with a B plus. Her total GPA for her entire undergrad is a B minus. She got one A scientific progress through time. And she also got a couple of B's. So she definitely improved. That's for sure. She might not be like the very, very top of her class, but she definitely did a better job this semester, which was her goal. So good job, Willow. Oh, hype for Willow. Thank you. <laughs> Awesome. So she is done. It's graduation tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Look who's here. <gasps> Timothy decided to come say hi to the kids. That's so nice. This is his first time coming to say hi to everyone. So she will have a graduation ceremony tomorrow, the same day as the kids proms. And since they would probably be preparing, I would imagine that they would be sort of getting themselves ready getting excited, making plans. Since Timothy is here and since we graduated, why don't we do a hot pot together? There, everyone can participate and even Timothy, not Andy. Why is Andy around? <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> we'll let Timothy do a hot pot with the family. Maybe he came for a visit to say hi. And I do think we're going to want to download a high school because I don't want them to have prom at the current venue. I'm sure we can find a nicer one. Jude, you're off to eat dinner and lay back down. Have fun with the stream. Thank you so much for stopping in to say hi. It was lovely to see you. I hope you have a wonderful rest. And I do hope that you're taking care and you're able to feel a little bit better. New personality trait. Ashton has been feeling really confident and self-assured lately. Ashton is ready to go out and tackle everything. Embrace the change. Yes. Sure, if he wants, if you feel self-assured, you know, that's really good for Ashen, honestly. 
I'm glad that he feels that way. Zap, broom, dag, dag. Ashton demolished the competition in a display of virtual mastery. No one will be calling him a noob anytime soon. Oh, so he did a really good job in his video gaming. And maybe that's how he began to feel more confident. Well, that's good. I'm glad he's feeling good. I think that's good. Ashton has discovered a new personality trait. Self-assured. Learn more about this new trait in the trait section of the Simology panel. He's our first Sim in this save to get um, an extra personality trait. So this is nice. All of the kids are getting the chance to catch up with Timothy a little bit. Um, they haven't been able to because he hasn't come to visit them here. I do think that... Next week is summer break. And I honest, I was planning on taking the kids over to Ashton's for summer break. So I'm hoping we'll be doing that next stream. Uh, sorry, over to Timothy's for summer break. I think the kids will spend summer break with Timothy with their dad. So next time we play, we should be over at Timothy's house. And I was kind of hoping because I feel like they they haven't seen their dad much. And I do want to make sure that they get to see him. So we'll go over with the kids and play with that. I was just waiting for Willow to finish um, her university to be able to do that. Oh, and the other thing is I did adjust some of the family dynamics. Oh, they're all here in Willow's room chatting all the kids. This is so funny. <laughs> um, I did change some of the family dynamics. So with Ashton and Willow, they are close. Mommy dearest. From the best relationship and little discipline, um, they have a supportive relationship. So when Sims have a supportive family dynamic, the older Sim often provides the younger Sim. I think it's the other way around in my head. Ashton provides this support to Willow. Um, so I would say Ashton provides Willow with emotional support and reassurance while serving as a good role model for them. When socializing, both Sims will actively seek to provide affection and compliments to each other. The older Sim... Or the younger Sim will actively seek to console or cheer up the younger Sim. Younger Sim feels comfortable venting about their complaints. So I think that they would have a very reportive relation, uh, supportive relationship. And then with all the other kids and Willow, they have um, a permissive relationship. So Sims with a permissive family dynamic tend to let things slide when the younger Sim gets in a bit of trouble. The older Sim will often shower the younger Sim in affection and compliments. While the younger Sim will tend to be more demanding, they're more likely to form adoring sentiments towards each other. So I thought that would suit with all the other kids. And then for Blossom, she is the only kid that actually has, because Willow has the unwanted child sentiment towards her. So they have a difficult relationship. When Sims have a difficult family dynamic, they simply don't get along like most other family members. When socializing, they will usually lean towards complaints or even mean interactions. They will also be more likely to form furious sentiments towards each other. So I had a little bit of fun setting all of that up. I tried to do what would make sense since, you know, like I like my Sims to be able to kind of form these ideas and opinions on their own. But that because we've been playing with this family for so long and we've kind of developed and gone to know um, all our Sims and we've developed their personality quite a bit. I thought it made sense to give them all their sentiments towards each other. With Timothy, we're going to have some fun. We're probably going to have a few different strict dynamics between Timothy and the kids. I think he would be a very strict parent generally. I think he'd be a little easier on the younger ones than on the older ones as well. So we'll set that up when they go to stay at his house with him. But yeah, I thought that that was really cool. And I'm really excited to see how that plays out. So I like that there's new features of the pack that we can explore in this family, just like we're doing in the whimsy stories. I think that that's pretty cool. Uh, did the kids not come get their hot pot at all? I feel like only Rhiannon and, <laughs> and Blossom are here with, their, with the dad. Yeah, come join. Come join. Is there enough food for everyone? There might not be. Come join. Join. There. You all need to get some food as well. Everyone really needs to go to the bathroom. Um, I'm so confused. Is it too late? Can they not join anymore? Oh, no. Everyone else is just getting fruit salad because the hot pot is over. 
Well, you do need to eat, so get your fruit salad, I guess. Um, you should probably eat too before you go to bed. Rhiannon's really chatting a lot with Timothy. <laughs> it's so funny. Aw, oh, look at Mabel. She's so cute. Oh, who's she being mean to? Chatting with Timothy and Ashen. Oh, all of the kids are getting the single and loving it lifestyle. Hey, neighbor, I'm starving. Can I raid your fridge for some food? Help me out here. We can hang out, too. Who are you? Uh, oh, you're friends with Ash. OK, sure. Um, come hang out with Ashton. Invite to eat. The hot pot is over, but there's other food around. So I guess you can come in. There we go. So these two are friends. Um, oh, and we need to watch romance TV if we don't want everyone to be sad. Okay, let's come watch. Watch romance. There we go. There we go. We can make sure people don't have um, a sad sentiment at the end of the day. Everyone can come watch. Oh, there's a mod issue. Huh. All right. Is it the TV that's not working? Watch romance. Oh, I'm going to get this report. Hang on a second. <laughs> I wonder what happened. Was it when they came to watch TV? So if Timothy's here, I'm glad that Timothy is visiting us, um, but let's go ahead and welcome him in. Thank him for coming to say hello to his kids because he never does that anymore. And um, let's make sure that these kids actually go to the bathroom too. And here we have, once again, we have Willow's final grades. She got two B's and an A. So we've done so much better this semester. And her final GPA is a B minus. Her term GPA is a B plus. So we managed to achieve our goal of improving our grades once again, which is really good. I'm very, very happy for her. Now to celebrate, let's go ahead and do the hot pot. Once Willow goes to the bathroom. And um, maybe we can have some of the kids go to the bathroom as well because they all really need to. Uh, she's taking a nap. That's fine. Why don't you come up here and use the toilet? And then Mabel, you can use the toilet in your room. Oh, she's doing her homework. Oh my gosh, what a good kid. That's so sweet of her. And then, yeah, you need to use a toilet as well. And then we will do the hot pot. Uh, maybe I'll move it here. Maybe part of the reason we had issues last time was not everyone could get to it. So to celebrate all our accomplishments and being done with university. There we go. We will invite Timothy over to a hot pot so we can celebrate and he can see his kids. Deja vu. <laughs> Your daughter has inside PE if it's four Celsius. That's t-shirt weather. Yeah, that's not that cold. <laughs> But I guess you probably don't have like winter coats and stuff in Florida. It's probably not normal to have, I'm guessing. We're babies when it comes to the cold. <laughs> so different there. That's funny. Oh my gosh. So Ashton got a new personality trait. It's not confident like it was last time, but this time he got geek. Ashton's becoming a geek for technology these days. Whether it's computer or video games, Ashton enjoys it. Embrace the change. Sure, he can be a little geek. Ashton has discovered a new personality trait. Geek, learn more about his new trait in the trait section of the Symology panel. Cool, good job, Ashton. Timothy's looking a little bit mad. <laughs> I don't think he's super happy to be here, but I'm glad he's come to say hi to the kids. I think that's important. Okay, everyone's coming for the hot pot. That's good. Oh, Blossom's not even hungry. I think we're just waiting for Cadence. He feels pretty happy. Zap, 
room, Dag Dag, Ashen demolished the competition in a display of virtual mastery. No one will be calling him a noob anytime soon. Nice. Good job, Ashton. Minus 30 was the coldest you were allowed out and you'd do it, especially after days of no outdoor play. Kids go nuts. That's true. That is true. Hey, why are the lights off? Oh, okay, they're back on. <laughs> Rhiannon is in the counter. <laughs> All right. She is getting impatient. She doesn't want to wait for the hot pot anymore. So she got herself a fruit salad. Um, okay. Well, why aren't we having this hot pot anymore? I wanted to have it with the whole family. I mean, Rhiannon has got her fruit salad, so maybe we'll leave her out, but let's have everybody else do it. Mabel, we're doing a hot pot. Stop trying to eat other foods. You don't own any coats at all? Oh, <laughs> yeah. See, I could see why then in that case, when it gets that cold, they would not let you out if you weren't properly dressed for it. Okay, I'm going to put the hot pot back here. It seemed to have worked better when we were over here. All right. Rhiannon is, I think, done with her fruit salad. Um, why don't you come watch the romance channel? Okay, hot pot is not happening. Not too sure why that is. But I guess we'll get out some other food, maybe. We've got lots of food, which is good. I'll put out this salad and I'll put out this soup. And I think what I'll do is, is your dad still here? <laughs> Sydney is here too. I think I'm just going to send Sydney away. Um, I kind of want Ashton to form a group with his dad. Form group, Timothy. And then they can come over here and grab servings together. So Timothy will be eating over, which is kind of nice. It's just um, we're not doing the hot pot, but he can still stay for a meal. And then the other kids can all come grab some food, grab whatever they prefer. I think Blossom is actually pretty full, though. So. Oh, these two are sitting and chatting together. That's nice. I'm pretty sure she must have Andy's nose. I don't think that that is Willow's nose at all, but. And then tomorrow morning, I think what we'll do is we're going to go into careers and we will get Willow started in her new job. <laughs> Finally, which I'm really excited for. Is this TV maybe the problem? They're not watching. There we go. Let's have, um, oh, she can't. She doesn't care about romance TV. Let's have everybody come watch some romance together. Maybe we can watch like a, we can say what they're watching a rom-com to celebrate or something. Oh, she's already watching. Um, Ashton, come watch. Oh, let's get, let's get Timothy to watch too. Watch current channel together and then you can come watch as well. Interesting that Timothy chose to come over on Love Day. Is it a CCTV? Uh, it might be. It might be. I'm not sure. I think it is. Yeah, it says Sony. That's not an EA TV. <laughs> but they can all watch together and this will help them at least complete one thing for Love Day so that they're not sad. Um, except for Blossom. Why don't we have Blossom come check on her garden? Because she doesn't care about this kind of thing. Maybe she can come water her plants a little bit. Oh, she's playing with her little toy. That's so cute. Oh, she's stuck. She's going to be stuck there. Yeah. There we go. Teleporter. She wants to play pretend in a treehouse, which she needs to do for her aspiration. Um, we obviously don't have anywhere that we can do a treehouse here, but I think that's something that maybe we can do with Timothy. 
So when they go spend summer break with their dad, I think that's something we can definitely get set up over there. Um, and she also wants to reach creativity level three, which she already has. She's actually doing pretty well in a lot of her skills. She's actually doing really good in her social, which I didn't realize, but it makes sense. She has such a big family and I'm sure to like even be heard, she would need to make sure to um, to take as much space as possible. Let's ask our plants about worms. <laughs> we can water this one too and maybe talk to it about dirt a little bit. Look at how cute she is. I wonder if this helps her social skill at all. It helps her mental skill. Oh, and then she's got two plants over here. We can water, tell a story about bed bugs, water, talk about dirt there. So she talks to each of her plants before bed, which is cute. And I think it's good that we only have four plants because it's a lot of talking to plants. <laughs> oh my gosh, is Mabel grabbing herself a coffee? I think so. Willow's put herself to bed. Um, Ashton, maybe we're just going to have him finish his homework. Uh, because we're probably going to be focusing on the other kids tomorrow. So we're not going to have as much opportunity to make sure he gets these things done over the weekend. Uh, let's come wash our face, brush our teeth and head to bed. We want to get a good night's sleep leading up to prom, I think. Uh, wash face, brush teeth, and then go to sleep. And then for you, you're still doing pretty good. She wants to come chat with Blossom. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Aw, that's nice. Do they have a good relationship? I think Blossom has a pretty good relationship with most people in the family. It's not that good, but it's not bad either. Because... Rhiannon is a lot older than her, so it's, you know, she probably sees her as her baby cousin. They wouldn't necessarily be close, but it doesn't mean that they can't get along. Oh, she didn't like that, whatever they were talking about. <laughs> That's funny. Why don't you come um, use Mabel's bathroom to brush your teeth? And then you should probably head to bed. Oh, I forgot that Mabel and her actually developed a jokester relationship, I think. Where's Mabel? Oh, did they not have it anymore? I thought that they had. Maybe they didn't. Never mind. But they get along quite well. And you can see even that they're very compatible. Um, she's also very compatible with Timothy, which is kind of interesting. Oh, we got a save game reminder. That's probably not a bad idea after what just happened. Let's do a quick little save. <laughs> Hopefully you're so cute. So, yeah, I kind of found it was really interesting when I was looking at The Sims that everyone is compatible with now that we have um, this update in our game. So, yeah. She's very compatible with Mabel and with her dad. And I think Ashton's also compatible with his dad, which means they probably get along quite well. Um, and with Anchor, who is his cousin, and then a few other Sims. And then she didn't have anything. She's actually not compatible with Sibney, who is, you know, her sister. They actually look quite similar. So I thought that was interesting, too. Let's come brush our teeth and wash our hands and then you can go to bed as well. And then for Willow, when I was looking at her compatibility, she actually is compatible with Andy, which is kind of interesting. And I did give her a few different preferences. So for Willow, based on what we know about her, I thought it made sense that she wouldn't like dishonest Sims. Uh, where do I find her personality? Hang on. Is it in here? Yeah. Yeah, so I thought that she 
dislikes deception, but she likes flirtation and affection. I feel like people showing that they care about her is very important to her. And she likes people who likes romance. So that is Willow. I didn't do any um, preferences for any of our other Sims, though. I only did Willow's. Mabel, what are you up to? She's dancing. Oh, your cousin probably can't sleep with this music on. We're going to turn that off. I am sorry. Why don't you come? Can you jump on this trampoline? No, she's too big. That's for kids only. Um, why don't you come sell? And then maybe we can do a painting before bed. Dislikes deception, kind of hypocritical. True. Good point. Good point, Omega. Well, don't forget that she also was cheated on, though, at some point. You would think that that would make her more understanding. But I think because Willow is trying to change so much. Oh, is she too tense? Resolution due from last day to complete resolution. Oh, oh, is there anyone she's interested in? No, not really. Oh, well, that's too bad. She's going to do a little bit of yoga, though. I think that's good to take her mind off things. She's got a pretty sweet room, I think. All right. And then once you're done with that, we'll help you get ready for bed. What is she feeling? I love wellness from liking wellness. M Willow Mabel is in her element. And because she's doing something she prefers, increase her fun, increase gains. Nice. Um, Ashton, what are you doing? Did you just drink coffee? I think he did. I'll let Ashton pull in all nighter since that seems to be what he wants. And he can do this last little bit of homework. I do think like Willow is kind of probably going to try and change her ways a little bit. Oh, there's something stinky under here. There we go. Get rid of that. So, you know, <laughs> she might have seen the error of her ways or something like that, I think. Put all that stuff away. Where are you off to do your homework? You're going to do it at your sister's desk. You know you have your own desk, Ash, and I don't know if you know this, but you do have one. We need to play Sim Scuffle Solar Tournaments or research Sim Scuffle Strategies not started yet. Well, maybe we can do that a little bit as well. Um, Sim Scuffle Solo. There. All right. I'll let Mabel box a little bit and then I want to make sure that she goes to bed. <laughs> your cat left and came back and is now laying across your shoulder and hip. Cannot move. Can barely type. Aw, kitty cuddles. I love when kitties come for their cuddles and they like just make sure that they're right in the center of everything. There we go. And then you can go to sleep. Ashen's really pulling an all-nighter. He's very not tired. This is really good coffee that they have. <laughs> we might not get to the Sim scuffle. We'll see. You've been catnapped. <laughs> yeah. Aw. I'm so excited for prom. We're going to have all the girls get ready. They all have like... I think they all have mirrors in their room. Yeah, a couple of them do. She's got this one. But yeah, they can get ready. They can take photos together. She's been on you almost every moment since 1.30 this afternoon. Oh, that's so cute. Little baby. Oh, is she going to cry over the dollhouse that she broke? Oh, Rhiannon, you're so young. I think she's got this fear of dreams or something. Poor dolls from Broken Dollhouse. Someone smashed. You smashed it. Do you not remember? Did she forget that she smashed the dollhouse? She's crying over the poor dolls, but she was the one that smashed it. So, oh, her resolution is due and she wasn't able to get her grades up. Oh, no. <laughs> All my Sims are stressed because they didn't get their resolutions done. See, this is why I always do raise a skill. It's the easiest one. 
All right, Ashton, you might need to go to bed because you're starting, I think, to hit your limit. There, go to sleep. Don't uh, don't play. You're going to wake your sister up. Aw, look who's up. Look at her cute little PJs. She's so cute. She's off to grab herself some breakfast. Aw, little Blossom. I love this family. I miss them. I miss them a lot. <laughs> Willow, I think you can get up this morning. And it is a new day. You are an official university grad. So I think Willow would be feeling pretty good. Maybe she would take herself out for a jog or something like that. Just, you know, because she has more free time. And then when she comes back, I think she's going to start applying to some jobs. Oh, and Rhiannon is sad about the dollhouse. <laughs> why don't you why don't you actually try to repair it? Let's try that. Someone. <laughs> I know, right? She's been on you almost every moment since 1.30 this afternoon. Oh, that's so cute. She loves you. What a little baby. Oh, she wants to go rock climbing. Sure, we can probably do that at some point. And she wants to pull a prank. Okay, well, let's start by getting you ready for the day. And then for Blossom, I think she'll use Mabel's bathroom just to go to the bathroom. Oh, and hunt for Easter eggs, of course. Let us not forget. Man, there's so, so much going on. Oh, no, there's bugs and weeds. Can you come check on your plant? Is she able to weed? Yeah, let's weed the plant. She might not be able to um, spray for bugs, but she can definitely weed. Oh, Ashton came into Mabel's room to do some yoga. Ashton, you're tired. You can stay in bed. I don't know why you're up. There you go. Go get yourself something to eat. Mabel's still fast asleep despite all this activity around her. <laughs> Someone's going to have to help her and spray the bugs. It's probably dangerous for a child to handle chemicals like that. Look at how cute she is weeding. Aw. Her plants are her little babies. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, oh, yeah. And I forgot that we have a planter here as well. Maybe we can do another couple of plants. Let's do some flowers. And I think I need to get rid of this thing. She's adorable. I know. She's so cute. Yeah, everyone's stressed because of their resolutions. <laughs> what is your... Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, Timothy is trapped under the stairs. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's under the stairs. He's trapped. Oh my gosh, this is why he didn't join our hot pot. <gasps> Timothy, what are you doing under there? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this was not planned. Timothy, <laughs> no. Okay, let's see. If I put a door here, is he going to be able to get out? Imagine he died and I didn't notice until it was too late. Okay. <laughs> Can he get out with this door? Or is he like legit trapped? <laughs> How do you get trapped there? I don't know. You would need to like have these walls built around you. Okay, I think he's able to get out this way. Good, he needs to pee. <gasps> Timothy, how long were you back there for? <laughs> oh 
Oh my goodness. Can't believe that. All right, I'm going to turn that around. I don't think she could get to it. Let's try this again. Go plant. She's feeling inspired from her gardening. Oh, she still can't get to it. <gasps> no. Can you go here? <laughs> Not too long if he didn't pee himself. True. That's a good point. Uh, Willow, why don't you cook something? Serve breakfast, breakfast scramble. All right, we need to figure this out. We need more yoga mats. Everyone's always using Mabel's. Okay, so what can you get to? Can you get to this one? Yes. Aw. She's going to take care of all her little flowers. And it's this one you can't get to. No. What if I turn it around? Can you get to it then? I think once they're planted, she's fine. Aw. And then let's water. Tell a story about bed bugs water and ask if lonely oh my gosh she's so cute whoa sorry oh my gosh why is my thing like so fast i like can't control it whoa oh <laughs> oh Wow, that water looks pretty deep. Courtney flashes back to all those scary experiences of being in water. She'd rather not experience that vast and terrifying expanse again. Where is she seeing water? Is it where? What water, Courtney? <laughs> There's no water to be scared of here. <laughs> What's going on? Man, the fears are out of control. About to need a drama mine. <laughs> the graduation ceremony is about to start. Would you like to attend the ceremony? Canceling will not affect your Sims graduation status. Yeah, let's go to the graduation ceremony with Willow. She's still our gen heir for now. So I think she would go. I forgot what you call them. Was thinking the same. Wait, what is that? Is that an actual thing? <laughs> is that like a machine? All right, here we go. Oh, she didn't get to eat her breakfast. I'm just gonna, there we go. We did, we ate. Is she the only Sim graduating today? <laughs> Attend graduation. Oh, let's put up the banners. <gasps> nice, Willow. Okay, come here. Um, How do I get her to... <laughs> She's being paranoid. How do I get her to take a photo? Go here. Go here. There we go. Let's see if I can get a get a photo. <laughs> it's a little tough. Oh, she's got other Sims graduating with her. That's nice. Who's this? Oh, motion sickness med. Oh. Oh, it's like your version of gravel. We were talking about that the other day. Um, Let's enthuse about graduation. Do a few different graduation activities. Maybe we can do an introduction. She can do a flirty introduction, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> let's see how is their compatibility oh it's fine it's not anything special why don't we take a photo with this person take a photo with Huda there we go that's it gravel yeah that's how you sp spell it I'm pretty sure oh no she's gone we can't take a photo we're still talking to her 
Okay, we're off to our graduation. I like getting a little bit closer because then you can hear like the noises while they're graduating. <laughs> I don't know if you can you can hear it right now. Oh, why is she sad? Awful holiday. <gasps> there we go. Wait, I need to take a photo of this. This is a great moment. I caught it just on time. Hang on. <laughs> the things I do to try and get photos of my Sims. I want to take it like this. <laughs> but looking right up her nose. Look at how cute she is. Sorry, mini photo shoot moment here. But she is our legacy Erin. She's come so far. You know what I mean? Can we take a perspective of the hat? Okay, that's enough photos. <laughs> All right, let's go home. That was good. Wait, let's take a photo first with Huda. Why are they doing homework when they just graduated? And then we'll head home. Hi, Willow is graduated. Good job, Willow. We might not have made it out like top of our class or anything, but we definitely didn't do bad. And the secret that they never tell you is that employers do not look at your grades. <laughs> when they're trying to give you jobs. They just look that you have a degree. So we have one. Even if we didn't do so well in our first semester, we definitely more than made up for it, I think, in our second semester. All right, let's get back to our kids. And oh, Blossom will probably be so excited to see the flower bunny. The other Sim is really pretty too. She is really pretty. I was wondering if like Willow would have a little bit of compatibility with her or something because it um, offered a flirty introduction first, but she didn't. So he only has it with Auntie. <laughs> All right. Good job, Willow. I think what we'll do now is let's hop onto a computer. I think this computer is not a real one. It is just for show. I liked it for photos, but I think it's time to replace this with a true computer, as in a functioning one for Willow. And I think we're going to go see what kind of jobs we can get. What would be like a nice, snazzy computer? Whoa, should we do this? Yeah, I think so. That's a nice one. Okay. Willow, come sit down and let's take a look at what careers are available. This is Willow's first ever job. She's never been employed before. This is so exciting. Okay, so here we go. As part of her gen, the second to last thing that we have to do is get a job in the politician career. Now hiring a council person at 176 an hour. Having a relevant university degree means this position will come with higher pay, easier promotions, more vacation days, and a signing bonus. Only one signing bonus can be awarded per sim every seven days, regardless of career. Secure votes, give speeches, and become the national leader. Better brush up on your public policy. Wow, Willow, that's incredible. She's definitely starting high up in the political career. There we go. So she's officially a politician. She needs to get... Um, oh, sure, we can get started on a work assignment. We need to choose a cause to support. Um, and we also need to reach level seven charisma. So we can work on that a little bit. Um, and I think we choose a cause here. Change passwords. Um, 
Oh, no, I think I click on her to choose a cause. Political career, there it is. Let's pick a cause for her. So we've got foundation for less mischief, no sim left behind, simoleons for everyone, speak for trees or world united. I kind of feel like with Willow, we would probably do foundation for less mischief or simoleons for everyone. I feel like she would focus on these two. This one, because her father was a criminal and while he helped us out a lot, I think that she kind of wants to like make a more secure, better world, maybe world united. But she definitely hasn't had too much interest in the environment. So I don't think speak for trees. I don't think no sim left behind. Maybe simoleons for everyone, because I know that they struggled early on. Maybe not. Um, maybe it's actually between these two world united or foundation for less mischief. I'm going to let you all think on it a little bit. So we will pick something before the end of the part, but I will let you all decide what you want. Maybe what I'll do is I'll actually do a poll and I'll leave it up for five minutes so you can have a good little think on it. You don't have to like choose right, right, right away. But let's do this. Which cause should we pick for Willow? Which cause? Oh. Hello? There we go. Which cause should Willow pick? Um, World United. Foundation for less mischief. Um, sim I'm going to put simoleons for everyone and no sim left behind as well. I'm going to put them all. And I'll put it up for 10 minutes. We don't, we have a lot of time. She should care about education. Is that what you see No Sim Left Behind as? Is that what that one is? Maybe. Okay, well, it's in there. The only one I didn't choose is um, Speak for the Trees. So I'm going to start the poll. You have 10 minutes to decide. Um, education is true. I think that would be an important one to her, especially because she had to kind of, you know, she didn't pursue education and I think maybe she regrets a little bit and she's starting to see a lot more the value of it now. So if if we see no sim left behind is education, I think that can make a lot of sense for her. So but I'll let you all decide. I'm really open to any of them except for speak for the trees. That's the only one I didn't put in the poll. All right. And then let's focus a little bit on the girls. Um, so they would want to get ready uh, for prom. Why don't we tidy that up a little bit? So if you're in, oh, she's already in the bath. That's perfect. I was going to say, let's let the Sims take a little bit of a bath. So you can come up here um, and wash your face, brush your teeth and take a bubble bath. And then maybe Rhiannon would use Willow's bathroom or sorry, Mabel's bathroom. Brush teeth, wash face, and take a bubble bath. There we go. And then I'm just going to line the same things up for, uh, for you as well. Brush teeth, apply face cleanser, and take a bubble bath. So all the girls are kind of like getting ready. And Willow. Well, I'm going to maybe have her. She can do whatever she wants, actually. I think she's earned a day off. And then, oh, these two are dancing together. Look, they're so cute. See, they get along really well. They're, they're the only two not off to prom tonight. So, I mean, Ashton isn't either, but he's an adult. So I usually pick simoleons for everyone. Uh, it's like no child left behind in the U.S. Oh, I like that. No child best behind. There's an organization called No Child Left Behind, which is for education. Oh, that's really cool. I actually really like that. I usually pick simoleons for everyone. They have such a thorough night routine more than me. <laughs> well, this is actually for their prom now. They're getting ready for prom. Uh, you can take a bath. All right. Are we going to do a little bit of Easter egg hunting? There. Why, why don't these two hunt for Easter eggs together? There you go. Hunt for eggs. 
Uh, the whole carnival that terrified you. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Um, and then we're going to go invite to brainstorm. Yeah, these two can hang out. That's fine with me. And then you're in the bath. You're in the bath. You're off to go do some sports stuff. That's fine. Can we keep looking for eggs? Where else can we look? Can we look in the dollhouse? No. Why can't we check in the dollhouse? <laughs> Rhiannon just became good friends with Willow. Oh, that's cute. There, come hunt for an egg downstairs. To this day, it terrifies you. Fair enough. It is pretty scary. Okay. We definitely have cameras somewhere. Who has the cameras? I put cameras in somebody's room. We're going to bring one of like the nice quality cameras to prom with us. If I don't, if I can't find one, I'm going to buy one. Um, maybe in here. Hmm. Okay, we're going to buy a camera. Yeah, I like imagining Sims are all just bopping to the music. They are getting ready for prom, so probably they have some music on, I would imagine. Okay, so we need this one. I'll put it here. And I'll put it in somebody's inventory. I'm going to put it in Willow's for now. But I don't want to forget it before we go. And then I want everyone to change into their prom outfits. There we go. There, they can change together. Change outfit. And then... Why don't you come and use Willow's? Change outfit into prom. And then you can come admire self. And then why don't you come and freshen up a little bit? Oh, that's not your prom outfit. Sorry. I forgot that she has more than one outfit. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's do that again. Change outfit. Formal prom. There we go. Did I put you in the right outfit? Yeah, I put her in the wrong outfit too. Change outfit prom. All right. And I'm going to show you all what I do um, to get my Sims, uh, to get photos of them. So where would be a good place? Maybe not here because there's a dust bunny. How about we use this wall for a background? And then what I do is I use the teleporter mod. And then I'll put my posing sims here. And then I'm going to get Willow here. Might be a little close, actually. Maybe I'll hang on. I'm going to actually do it against this wall. One, two, three. And then we'll put Willow here. And then I'm just going to go into game options. Gameplay. We'll turn off autonomy for a minute. And then we will teleport Willow. And then we'll teleport our other Sims here. Courtney, Cadence, Rhiannon. And then we'll choose a pose for them. So I think I'm on Courtney right now. Um, pose by pack. And then I probably have like a friendship pose of some kind. I should have gotten a prom one, but I didn't realize we would be doing prom today. Uh, family photos. Okay. 
Let's do. Sure. Female. And then for you. Super jam into this. <laughs> I remember just chasing the Sims around for a picture I gave up long ago. Oh, you got to use mods for it. This makes it so much easier. So we have a female one and then. I'm going to do her as female three. And then I'm going to do cadence. Pose by pack. I'm going to do her as the male. And then we're going to have Willow once they pose. Oh, I need to change Rhiannon's pose. Hang on a second. Um. She needs to be that one. There we go. There we go. Look, that's so cute. Okay, and then Willow, you need to take a photo. There we go. Look at how cute this is. All right, and then let's double check and make sure we got a good one. <gasps> yeah, look at how cute that is. <laughs> Isn't that so nice? Aw, congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Okay, let's put um, autonomy back on. Or actually, let's not just yet. Let's take one more photo of the twins. So Rhiannon, I'm going to teleport her here. And let's see if I can just take a photo of these two. So that's how I do this. Is this a mod? Yeah, this is actually um, two mods. So one is the teleporter, teleporter mod. And then the other one is a posing mod. And then... Once you have those two mods in your game, you can just go online and download poses for anything. So that's how I get all my thumbnails. That's how I got all the family photos in uh, Willow's house. We haven't done a lot of family photos with the kids growing up because it's just kind of like been too busy that I, I don't take the time to do that with them. Uh, I mean, we could maybe do one of the romantic poses. We could do these bashful lovers. Sometimes you have to get a little creative, like they're not lovers, they're sisters, but I, I think that that pose is okay for sisters. Um. There we go. Bashful lovers be. Oh, I don't like it. Her hand is glitching. Okay, let's try another one really quick. Um, I can teleport without mod. Yeah, but you need to make sure that they teleport right directly into the right spot. Like they have to be on top of each other. So it just helps. Like you can still do it without, but I mean, it's such a small mod and it like I've never needed to update it. So I think it's worth just getting it. It's it doesn't take like a lot of space and it doesn't really like break or anything. Um, about to pop mother of twins. We could just maybe do two model poses, but I want to do, I thought I had like a sister one. Uh, 
yeah, see, once I get to my animations, I think I'm too far down. Maybe we'll just try these beach ones. Yeah, that's good. Why are her eyes like this though? Oh, they're looking, I see. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take another photo. Yeah. So yeah, you can definitely do it without, but it makes it just like a gazillion times easier. There, we can get like the full outfits in with this one. Look at how cute these two are. They're all grown up and going to prom. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. Let's um let's give them the camera so they can take photos of each other while they're at prom. Oh, there's a gnome in that one. The gnome is ruining my photos. Okay, we got some good ones though. Oh, the gnome's in that one too. Oh no, all the all of these ones are bad. Are they still posing? I might try one. No, I took them out of their pose. Okay, well, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We got these ones, though. So. There we go. That's cute. Okay, let's put autonomy back on and let's go to prom. Game options. Um, autonomy full. There we go. Her eyes. Yeah. They were a little creepy in that one. There we go. We'll save. Um, I can probably put them in Discord is what I can do. I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's called Pose Player, but I don't know who it's by or anything. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's called like Pose Player or something. Watching the whole thing was confusing. Aw. <laughs> Should we clean that sink? Yeah. Oh, they're still posing. Oh, wait, we can still get more photos. Willow. Oh, I know. Rhiannon. Rhiannon, come here quick. Teleport here. <laughs> okay, let's get you to take a photo. Okay, maybe not of this one. Try again. Oh, this is a cute one. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. <gasps> yes, I love it. I love it. This friggin' gnome better not get in the way this time. <laughs> Redhead poses like she's the top gay in the relationship. They're both red hair. Do you mean um we've got Cadence and we've got Courtney? Take a photo gonna get one more like this there we go oh no sorry okay I think we got all the good photos Oh, they're so cute. Okay. All right. We're good. You can stop posing now. Good job, girls. Good job. Jumpsuit. Okay. That's Cadence. They are twins. So they're not actually dating. <laughs> it's just that was the best pose that I could use. 
Uh, Courtney, you can stop. You're good. Good job. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, I think we're just about all ready to go. So now we just got to wait for, for prom to begin. It should be starting soon. Um, and for their sake, I'm just going to boost their energy up a little. Like, I'm sure that they will have taken a nap or done whatever to get ready. There we go. It's just the way she poses. <laughs> well, she could be. You never know. We're going to see who she's interested in. Not saying they are. That's just the vibe that she poses. Yeah, they would. I could totally see that with her. We know for sure that Mabel is gay. I think the um, the sisters, one of them is straight and one of them is bi. Probably Courtney is straight. And I think Cadence is bi. But I could definitely see that for sure. She definitely was giving that energy in those poses. But just to be clear, it's not that kind of a let's play. They're twins. And we were just using those poses. We're not that kind of a channel. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I know what you mean. <laughs> LOL, Uno, they're also kids. True, true. Right, they are kids. They're going to prom today. No, 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 don't. You're in your prom clothes. Don't go boxing. Why don't, uh, why don't we come? I'm sure that since we have a permissive parent, we would be allowed to, you know, just enjoy a nice little drink before prom. There. Why don't you come make a drink as well? Oh, hers is a cream cola. Okay. <laughs> and then you can make a drink as well. <gasps> Here we go. It's time for prom. All right. Mabel is not coming. We'll take her to prom next time, but we are going to prom with Cadence, Courtney, and Rhiannon. I'm so excited. Here we go. This is the moment we've been waiting for. We did a lot to get here. We had a few different crashes. We had a photo shoot. We had a graduation. So much has happened, but this is the moment. We're finally going to prom. <gasps> Look at how cool it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, I can't see. Oh, here we go. So we need to dance, vote for prom royalty and grab a drink. I definitely think that Rhiannon would just go ahead and vote for herself right away as prom royalty. Oh, she can't vote for herself. Okay, well, she's definitely going to vote for um, her cousins. There, you go do that. And then these two can dance. 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 I definitely feel like we're the most dressed up. <laughs> oh, look. We've got our friends here. I think this is. Oh, this is Mabel's friend. Oh, he's at prom and Mabel's not here. Well, hopefully he'll be at the next prom. We've got Louie. Who else do we have? Oh, we can grab a drink as well. Oh, of punch, I'm guessing. Come grab some fruit punch. Um, and then why don't you come grab something to eat? And then you come vote as well. Vote for prom royalty. And why don't you vote for Rhiannon? Oh, look at how cute they are. Show off outfit. Ooh, can we show off our outfit to somebody? Uh, where are her friends? Oh, look at her dance. She's so cute. Look at her sway her hips. Rhiannon, what did I say? She's voting for Rhiannon. What did I say? Okay, come grab something to eat. There we go. And then you can come vote for prom jester. You're going to vote for your, your sister. And then vote for royalty. And you'll also vote for your cousin. There we go. We need to show off our outfit to someone. So I think Lucas is her friend. 
How do we show off our outfits now? It's going to take me so long to find it. <laughs> gossip with someone. Okay, we can do that. Let's go gossip. And then what else can we do? Um, Interest. How do we show off outfits? Deep thoughts, compliments. Uh, small talk. Uh, show off outfit. There it is. Okay. All right. And then she's chatting with some people over here. Jaden, she seems to get along quite well with. So let's show off our outfit to him. So it's in here. I have to pause because pause goes by so quickly. She's got assert her badassery doing push-ups. Is she? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. All right, let's go show off our outfit. Yeah, that is very true. I can totally see that. Uh, why don't you go grab yourself a drink? She's really dancing too. Too many Sims in one place. Looks like Courtney just befriended a homebody Sim. Homebodies are Sims that often prefer a quiet life. They tend to enjoy calmer craft related hobbies rather than uh, ruckus adventure seeking. They might also be a bit more introverted than other Sims. In terms of Sim preferences, would we say that Courtney likes homebody Sims? Hey, that's kind of interesting. I could see her liking homebody Sims. Sure, why not? Does that mean now that she has a preference towards one of these Sims? Oh, she likes Tain. She has good compatibility with him. That's interesting. Um, she needs to grab a drink as well. Okay, let's go do that. Grab some fruit punch. And Rhiannon needs to show off her outfit to somebody. So why don't we come do that with Lucas? Friendly, small talk. Show off outfit. Oh, and then she needs to dance with somebody. Dance with someone. <gasps> Slow dance together with. Wait, where's Tain? Let's slow dance with Tain. Okay, we don't want the punch anymore. Oh, is it? It's the end of prom already. Somebody needs to make prom shorter. Let's see if we won anything. It's Hillary Duff hour and I'm living for it. <laughs> all the Hillary Duff songs are probably all in a row. Okay, let's see here. Who won? Oh, Rhiannon just got a crush on somebody. That Sim is irresistible. Rhiannon has a major crush on Lucas. <gasps> oh my gosh, she does. Hey, look. Look who won prom jester. It is our possibly, what was it? <laughs> our assertive queen cadence. Nice. And who's this guy? Max Villarreal also won. Well, good job. I guess we should maybe congratulate him. And I kind of want to see if we can get Rhiannon to dance with her crush. Can we sweetheart dance? With Lucas, I wonder. And then, are you dancing with somebody? You can also come and slow dance with Tane. There we go. I want to see if we can get these girls dancing a little bit. Oh, are they going for a private moment outside to dance? Oh. Look at how cute that is. They came out to dance in the rain. Oh, uh oh, but now Lucas is broken. <laughs> I'm going to consider that completed. And now she needs to talk to someone. Did she end up getting her dance in? I didn't see. She wants to eat something. Why don't you come talk to Tane a little bit? Friendly introduction. Uh, you need to go to the bathroom, though. 
oh, Max is evil. Okay. <laughs> well, everyone seems to be having a pretty good time. I'm always sad how quickly prom seems to go. I feel like we're going to get kicked out very soon. There we go. Why don't you dance and then get him to join? Invite Tane to dance. There we go. They can dance together. Oh, let's apologize. I don't know what she said. I guess pressuring to conform is not a good thing. And that's it. What a night. All the right memories, all the right music. You'll treasure the keepsake in your household inventory for years to come. Let's keep the party going. Want to come to the after party? Oh, Rhiannon got asked. Let's go with everybody. So we'll go with these two. There we go. Hopefully this works. Sometimes the after party breaks. We're going to try. You can beat several guys in ninth and 10th grade. Nice. They all got stronger. All right. After party time. Hopefully our Sims will work at the after party. This is always a challenge. And this has been a bug ever since high school years came out. I'm going to go through the playlist and I'm just going to jump ahead a little bit. Because I feel like we never get to this portion of the playlist. There we go. Did you have an after party like in real life? We had an after party. Yeah, it was at a hotel. <laughs> and uh, a bunch of people went clubbing in Hull because... It's pretty easy to get into bars over there. <laughs> I, I don't think I did, though. I think I just went straight to the hotel. Um, you went by yourself and jumped around from group to group and avoided drama. Nice. I went to prom with one of my best friends as my date. I was I was very surprised, though, because he actually got me a corsage. I don't know. I wasn't expecting it. So we had little matching corsages. It was cute. <laughs> we had a good time. I don't know. The after party. I don't remember it being very fun, though. I remember it being really exhausting. Everyone always came to hold to the clubs. <laughs> yeah, I think they went to Le Bop. <laughs> if I remember, if that was around back then. I think they even somehow got like a bus or something. Friends, is my game okay? I don't know if it is. We still got some cool stuff done today. So it might have been sh long, but it, or short. It was short, but long, but eventful, but short because of technical issues. But thanks everyone for sticking around. I... Really hope we can get this file, save file working again for next week. And I do hope you all sleep well. And because we've run so late tonight, I don't think that we're going to do a raid because I'm I need to get to bed and I have to get up early tomorrow so I can see what's going on with the weather and figure out what to do about my work situation. So I will leave it here. I will say good night. I hope you all have a wonderful rest. Have a good sleep tonight. Get lots of rest. Eat lots of good food. I will see you on Thursday for some Sims 2. Then, of course, we have our full weekend of whimsy stories and Life is Strange 2. So I will be seeing a lot of you throughout the rest of the week. Um, I hope your next couple of days go well. And I will see you soon. Good night.